Ready. We going to change the touch on iPad Mini 2 14A1490. This one doesn't have a touch sensor. It's working, but customer wants it to replace it now. First, we going to switch it off. Power off. Once it is off, then you can start uh, removing the touch. For that, you need a star screwdriver, which is here, and heat gun. Oh, you know it's shattered all around. You know, although this is shatter proof, you know, gonna see it's dropped here and a couple of other places. Um, uh, with the star screwdriver and I told you heat gun just taking this tool this long blade and this just to give some supports glasses are already going into my hand the pieces uh, you see this one is quite bad but we'll see just now it's never been open or something if it's been open it won't be that difficult the frame is also skew this one is little bit Let me rather heat it up. The proper way of doing this stuff is heat up. I'm using a heat gun. It's very no uh, uh, a hair dryer. It's very noisy. I've got my heat gun at my place. So. I heat it up all around. But be careful, don't give it too much heat because the LCD, these LCDs are very sensitive and if the patch comes then it's quite expensive to replace the LCD. So heat it up a little bit evenly, take your time properly with the patience all around, a little bit, little bit it will come out. So I'm going to heat it up a little bit, I'm going to pause the video here. This is becoming a little bit stubborn now, so I'm going to use the tweezer. Just to lift out some place where we can put our tool in there and try it. it will take long time I see that it's in complete pieces but not started so we're just gonna move with the tweezer it will take some time but that's the thing more time you take there is less chances that you will damage anything else beside what is already damaged on this corner although i think the it's a long time that i never did any uh, ipad there is wi-fi aerial here i think so so be careful when you're putting your tweezer in there if you're using a tweezer that's why i think preferably use that guitar pick kind of thing plastic tool so you don't damage anything but unfortunately i can't find mine my kids are very naughty must have been one of them or hold on it something that people do the last step I'll rather do the first step because I don't need this uh, touch anymore so and there is this magnet I think I think that keep that um, display lights on and off so be careful with that put it on a side you can see the physical LCD down there also so that's why I said that the people who do the last step and don't lose this please so I'm gonna put it on a side it's a magnet I'm sure for that uh, LCD calibration and stuff like that so I'm gonna crack this I'm gonna break this because uh, it's not a touch touch sensor so it doesn't really matter that if you keep it intact or not Let's not do thing. Okay, yeah, there you go. It's cracked. Let's grab a pair of scissors and do that. Now I'm going to put this tool because it's much flatter. Hey, this thing is complete mess. But it's also good because it's gonna come out very quick. 
it will take time to clean it and all those kind of things this LCD preferably if you have some type of gloves use that because once you touch the LCD and get a mark A eh, my friend it's very difficult to uh, clean it back so yeah I see it's lifting it had this protective film on it that's why I'm thinking it's going out very easy but here it's break then I'm going to go to the other side gentle nice easy take your time and if it gets stuck heat it up again heat it evenly I'm going to pause here a little bit to want to waste your data and time on the video so I'm going to pause here so far it's gone quite nicely it has a camera on top yeah it has a camera on top it's quite long that I open these things so if it gets stuck again I'm going to heat it up here I'm pausing the heating process a bit to just to explain you again only heat the area that you need to heat this side or a little bit down there from the borderline it can damage your LCD so just stop that's why I'm gonna keep heating it up evenly don't focus on the area uh, I'm using a dryer so it's it's not a, a perfect thing to use it I got a heat gun which concentrate on a small area with the nozzle there but what you have you gotta work with that now so now remember to if you do have something like this don't concentrate on one area otherwise you will get a patch onto the LCD and then you remove it to the camera side just be careful because I told you that I opened it after so long and remember that if there is any flexi here when I can see glass piece there is a flexi there so be careful when you're opening this this is a back camera there is a flexi and I think that's the camera flexi sorry about that so now uh, main digitizer touch this and that because I broke it already it's off as I said don't touch the LCD try your best not to touch it or work with gloves those medical gloves also can work but they at times get sticky to your device or the tool that you're holding I'm gonna remove these small pieces but now here this is what I was trying to say that because I opened it after quite a long time uh, any iPad there is that glass cover um, for the camera front camera so we need that also so when we remove it let me put it separate with that uh, magnet there and I'm going to keep removing these small small pieces until it's clean fully I'm gonna pause again as I said that I don't want to waste main objective was to remove it without any additional damage to his damage to these components that's camera uh, back camera this looks like also aerial and that looks like also aerial uh, it could be a remember what was it that glass I told you to keep it aside because you would need when we do it again now the next step is I'm not cleaning it yet because I don't want any marks on the LCD but you must remember that don't touch it please 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 that's the main thing you must look after about the LCD more important is that that don't break it but keep it clean because it's a mission to clean it again so there are four screws almost identical to all the other iPads which is one two three fourth one is there where it was that magnet thing 
So remove these cushions and then open these with the star screwdriver. Mostly people, I'll tell you one step, which uh, they don't, they do it afterwards. I prefer to do it straight away. One was that uh, if it is not a touch sensor, you can still use the old touch sensor by soldering it and stuff like that. Because to my best knowledge, once you remove the original one factory fitted, it doesn't work with your fingerprint scanner and stuff. I tried once and I remember that maybe, um, I don't remember that it was working or not, but I do remember that I did change it. If I notice here now, the top screws are a little bit longer than the bottom one, so don't mix them up. Because when you're going to close it, it's, it cannot fit it. That's the things about Apple products. So three screws are small, but top right next to the back camera is a longer screw. If you see my screwdriver, this one is longer, and the other three are shorter. So remember the longer screw grow came from here. The second thing that people do after opening the screws is that they lift it up and then they remove these two uh, like sticky tape kind of things which is holding the LCD straight so remove it and if you struggle please do heat up again and as I said to you that again be careful and you should not heat too close to the screen otherwise it will damage the screen so this we can keep it aside also to use it later on and now if you see this other thing should be very loose and easy to remove it if not then you do go back to your heating story let me remove this one time I think there is underneath the main flexi of the LCD. I've done quite few but now it's long that I never did repair. That's why I don't remember some things, they are faded. I'm going to heat it up a bit beside of taking the chance. If you can see now it's coming out bit easier because I heat it up but just minor heat this side even that this one is removed this side also heated to remove it I would suggest it rather do it before lifting up the LCD because then more chances are that you know, try to hold the LCD with something and you're going to touch it and that way the problem will start. Once these are loosened up, there I see that there is main flexi of the LCD so we be very careful when you're removing these things. Now put your tweezer in there or screwdriver whatever you prefer try to lift it up obviously it's the first time that it's coming out I think there is something attached here also if I remember there is a screw here we that's a new thing no but it's not to the LCD that's to the frame let's try to lift up here be very gentle and careful. I'm going to use that my this tool again. Gently, and if it becomes stubborn, as I see that it's here which is connected to it heat up again if it take your time this thing needs attention I'm gonna heat up again a little bit 
was a little bit difficult because this thing got stuck this same that double sided tape but you can see that there is no fingerprints yet on it this is what I'm trying to avoid I'm gonna just gently lift it up gentle very soft hands and I see the frame wasn't coming frame was down there so be careful this LCD looks very frayed earlier <laughs> I'll prefer you to use a plastic tool but unfortunately mine I can't find it at this time so you lift up a little bit okay now that plate we're not gonna lift I think there has screws in there so you're just gonna lift up the LCD as I told you earlier that I start I did this thing long ago here okay there we go it's out here flexi is still intact <laughs> give me a fright so just be gentle with it we don't want to do unnecessary repair on top of the repair that we got from customer because this was the first time that it's opening it's a little bit hard usually everything has its first time so now you can see the screen is loosened up and this is the plate that I forgot about it again do not touch so I'm just gonna put it there gently flat start screw driver we need again it's one, two, three, four. Keep them like right side ones going from bottom or top, whatever sequence you do. Like one, two, three, four. This is the third one. Because I'm pretty much sure the different size is one, two of them. That's why I don't mix them up. This side only three, one, two, three, and this side is four. So now I'm gonna lift up this plate which I was trying to lift up without opening the screws. Now the screws are outside. So here we go. That's a protection there, and the SIM card is inside here. I told so many damn customers not to give it to me with SIM card. Okay, again. Uh, it has three screws, just let them keep them in sequence. Number one, number two. See, this one is a bit longer. Number three, and they are notorious for that. Sometimes, if you put the screw wrong place, these things they get short, and then you can't switch them on also. Love it. That is your battery, and this is your touch. <laughs> Unnecessarily, don't remove the battery because we need to. I don't prefer using tweezer, but I don't have any choice. I can't find my plastic tools. Let's rather remove the battery first because then we don't short any component. Hmm. 
Now you can use steel also with that. LCD is out. And we're going to lift it up without touching the frame. Twist it. Shit. This glass piece got stuck to it. Shit, yeah. Okay, yeah. Doesn't do any marking on it. So we're going to put it there. Side. Now you can uh, close this thing when it gets broke, the edges, sometimes they become dainty. So let's go through procedure again. Again, currently I don't have any touch with me. Just wanted to open them to keep ready for repair. So I'm not going to put the new touch, but you can follow the instruction as is. First of all, you put the digitizer there onto its... Uh, uh, plug because in this case we already uh, cut it so we're going to remove that nicely and slowly LCD one is gone there there is a touch digitizer clip so as you remove this if it becomes a little bit stubborn as I said earlier use the heat gun It has the sticky double tape here, you know. So that's the reason that it gets stuck here. There. Now this is out. You got the new one. You can put it here. Connect this. Second LCD. In the last, you connect the battery. And then first, this plate goes in there. On top of that, your LCD comes. Remember one side there were three, so now your LCD comes on top and on top of that your digitizer come. Uh, my reason of not putting there I explained earlier also I don't have. So first you must just clean that extra, there, there are now a few cleaning brushes also with the fiber ones or, or rubber one. So you can close, uh, clean this nicely, don't leave any pieces in there. One more important thing if your screen is coming in this condition please must use the uh, your glasses see-through glasses so any uh, small piece from there should not damage your eye or anything so again once you have put the screen uh, first tied this thing with the, all the screws then you put the screen on top of that digitizer and to sealing it off people use double tape which uh, at times if you are living in a country where the temperature go higher started to come off so I use this beside of, there is a ant there, <laughs> beside of that double tape, I use double tape also, but then I put all around the corners to seal it off nicely, then no dust can go in there and it doesn't come out easy also. Hopefully this will help you to change the digitizer, LCD or any other type of repairs which you want to do, uh, say batteries are rarely or anything else, and then you can use this video to do that. If it helps you, please like, share, whatever you like to do. If there is something that I did not do right or somebody thinks that I did think that I did a mistake, please let me know so I can improve myself from next time. That was it. Goodbye.